Hey everybody, welcome back. So just doing a quick news update today because we definitely have some announcements that have come in. My favorite one, obviously, because I even managed to throw on the shirt before sitting down and doing the video. I didn't even have time to really do my hair. But first up, uh, there are two new titles, well, technically three, but two releases uh, that have come out from Screen Factory that are immediate releases, meaning they are available for sale right now. But they are exclusive to Screen Factory only. So you can only order it from from them. And they are some of the Roger Corman ones. These are the Women in Prison uh, titles. First one is a double feature and it contains Caged Heat and Jackson County Jail. Out of the two, only Caged Heat has actually gotten a new transfer. It has a new 2K scan from the original camera negative, but Jackson County Jail has not uh, received. Now it is HD. It probably just means it's using an existing master. And both titles do port over. It looks like all of the extras from uh, the DVD release. And just want to clarify to Caged Caged Heat is uh, not the one with Linda Blair, but actually uh, an older film uh, directed by uh, Jonathan Demme. We're still waiting on a Blu-ray release of the Linda Blair version. <laughs> and then the other exclusive title that they released today is uh, Street Walking. And it doesn't look like it has a new transfer. It's using an existing HD transfer, but it does port over, again, the extras from the DVD release. And each one of these releases is limited to 1,000. And again, only exclusively sold uh, currently at the Shout Factory store. And then finally the big news, the one that I managed to actually put on a new shirt for, and that is the fact that we uh, now have the official announcement for the Back to the Future trilogy in 4K. Some of you may remember that this is actually uh, sort of unofficially announced a long time ago that it was being worked on for an eventual 4K release, but now we actually have the actual announcement and it is coming October 20th. And then obviously each film is mastered in 4K in Dolby Vision and also will have a new Dolby Atmos track for each film as well. And there are going to be actually three releases. Um, I'm still kind of confused about two of them, but one of them obviously is just the regular uh, trilogy pack, which will have all three films, which you could pretty much order uh, from anywhere. My only concern though is that it is using those. Uh, it's a digibook, so it has the sleeves that you're getting discs out of, which as some of you know, I'm not a huge fan of. And then there will be a Best Buy exclusive uh, Steelbook edition of the trilogy. This is an interesting one. So there's a version that comes with a levitating hoverboard replica, which sounds kind of cool, but it is an Amazon exclusive for the 4K version or a Target exclusive for the Blu-ray version. I guess if you're wanting the hoverboard, uh, definitely be mindful of where you're buying it from. And again, this is coming October 20th. Uh, I'm going to get my pre-order in because I absolutely love uh, Back to the Future. In fact, just side note real quick, I some of you know, uh, the Back to the Future poster is actually one of my, uh, one of the few I'm actually going after, and I went after one uh, literally just a couple days ago. It was up for auction, and I was just like, you know what, with everything going on, I'm not doing any conventions this year, so some of my convention money, I was like, well, you know, why don't I actually try and get a Back to the Future one finally. I was like, maybe I could go up to 350 possibly 375 because they do go for a lot of money now. And there was one that was basically in perfect condition. It ended up going for over a thousand. And no, I did not win that auction. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer before I get a Back to the Future poster. Just want to give you the heads up on those. I'm glad there are more Roger Corman titles coming out. And obviously I'm super excited for the Back to the Future films. So definitely let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.